helps if you also hit the recording button. I've heard that if you want to record these videos and keep them, then to actually start recording is a good idea. Luckily we didn't miss anything, let's just get our reward. Good old Cecil Wessel. Blimey, there's a lot, to go lot going on here. This must be the first revolt ever to be taxed. We can't feed ourselves nor fortify our walls with rebel slogans alone. But rest easy, Stennis and the nobles won't get a single oran from us. Though, of course, the prince is just waiting for the right moment to get his grubby hands on our finances. I'm sure his motivations are pure, and he'll do it exclusively out of regard for his subjects. How long have you been alderman? My predecessor was killed three years ago. I was one of his advisors. I knew my way round this circus, so I volunteered to manage things. No one opposed me. Mostly I deal with trade and taxes, and I organize assorted matters. In the end, everyone listens to Saskia exclusively. Me included. How are things? Everyone awaits the battle. Some pray, others drink. Zoltan and Yarpan are chasing peasants around the square. They need a bit of drilling. Yorvev's warriors are trying to be inconspicuous. And so they should. I'd feel better if they crawled up that devil's ass and disappeared. But Saskia thinks we don't stand a chance without them. We killed most of the necrophages. Most? The passage to the lower level collapsed. They won't get out. In time, they'll die off and you can restart work. Thank you, Witcher. The whole of Vergen thanks you. Here's your coin. Shive, Skags, and Zigrin will get the same. I'll take all of their share. I'm sure they won't mind. No? Okay. So what is next on our on our itinerary? Score to settle. Does that lead us anywhere yet? Just wait for events to unfold. Alright, uh, the Assassin's of Kings. Hatred symbolized. What's going on there? Hey, talk to Cecil. We're so good at this. Yo, Cecil. Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philip claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some. Thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedweni crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago this land belonged to Kedwen. Lord of Crab! 700 years ago the elves reigned here. And a million years ago, these lands were the domain of the worms. If things weren't that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Edernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day that grew hot later. Very hot. When Van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dunbanner, but that was only the beginning. Seltkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kedwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Van de Grift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Van de Grift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death. 
that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire had covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes, there were no more friends and enemies, only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidwenny sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. Bear with me. I'm just going to add a book to my tower of books. So that I'm not quite looking down on you so much. Because no one wants that. No one needs that. There we go. Bit more even. So... You captured the Dunbanner standard? Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths, refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. You saw the Kidwenis cross the river? From afar. I saw Vandergriff leading 4,000 heavily armed men. Many a heart sank when we saw the elite bearheads or the armored banners from Ad Karig. The Dun Banner was in the middle, veterans of Brenner. As soon as he set foot on Adernian land, Vandergrift climbed a hill and surveyed the area, as if it was his fief. Son of a bitch was as sure of himself as ever. Upon spying him, <laughs> I remember the dwarves all dropped their trousers and showed him their asses. Then Selkirk stepped out in front of us, his white armor shone in the sun. We were afraid a kid Winnie Arbalist would shoot him, but they too stood as if frozen, and Selkirk just looked at them and bowed. Ever so slightly. Remember anything from before the battle? As if it was yesterday. Hensolt's troops crossed the Pontar the Pontar. third day after the autumn equinox. Edon had good spies, so we were ready for them, and Selkirk lined up our troops along the hills. Our hearts rose at the sight of the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, and Gullet fluttering in the wind. Knights and armored infantry side by side in our ranks. Even the peasants had their regiments. The dwarves were on the left flank. Over 5,000 strong we were. Nobody caring about race or background, like never before. Only King Demavend was missing, but he must have had more important business than defending his country. It's like a golf trip. Oh Did you see the duel between Selkirk and Vandergrift? Did you see the duel between Selkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once, at a jousting tournament in Ard Kareg. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Selkirk was a true knight, the last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Sarskia's got it. Good thing, too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Not a single keepsake or Selkirk in the Hall of Edon. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet, but he's a lying dog. Thanks, Cecil. That was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhart claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandergrift's sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. Wonderful. So now we have to wait for events to unfold. But also get the symbol of hatred? I don't know what to think. Such mixed messages here. Well, I know, so I'm going to rob this guy blind. Ooh, a diagram for leather. You know, I don't think I even have that. Could be useful. If 
Thanks for all of your possessions, Cecil. First of all, is there an orange arrow? There is no orange arrow, so let's go to the next thing on our journal, Wernal. Death symbolized. Here we go. Nice music. I don't think I've heard this bit before. Very chill. Sing it, chickens. Right, I'm going to have to look at the map again because I'm getting screwed over. Okay, it's entirely on the other side of town. I understand. Also, apparently I can um, turn off the rotating mini-map. Just don't know. And I never will know. So I'm not really saying oh, much right now, I'm just I'll enjoying this you. music. Pretty relaxing. How are we doing? I understand how to get to where I need to go. Or perhaps I understand nothing. Perhaps I'll never understand anything ever again. Or, perhaps we just go through this bit. Check my map again, because I lose my bearings so much because of the rotating minimap. Screws me right over every single time. So I'm looking to get through that tunnel area, but I'm not quite sure how it's done. Hopefully this is it. Well, it gets me on the other side of the tunnel, either way. The leader, though clad like a soldier, had a feminine... Let's go into this uh, dilapidated looking wooden bit. That's I'm actually going to save it, just in case there's something spooky here that I don't know about. We're in a neighbouring forest. That's how we saw where the meat of the action was here. In that case, I'm going to pop a rook, because you never know when action can break out. And it's not as if I uh, need to be conservative with my rooks. I currently have 78 of them. Given that each one lasts 10 minutes, that is 780 minutes, which is way more than, in, than an entire VHS tape. These guys gonna say anything to me? They look the type. Ah, you finally given in. Started killing humans. Hey, Witcher. Started that a while ago, actually. Just wasn't something society was willing to acknowledge. Fultus death. Society acknowledged that. You know there's a price on your head. Yeah, I know. Too low for the risks involved, though. It's a bundle to us, Witcher. We have to pay for everything. Weapons. Food, information. Yorvith send you. Yorvith will never learn of this. So allow me to just quen up and then throw a bomb. Ah, yeah. Right, that archer is pissing me off. We need to take him alive! Yeah. 
Don't risk it! We need to take him alive! Don't know who you're yelling to anymore. I've killed all your mates. First bad dwarf ever. I know. Hey, there are even bad Pandarans. Sometimes these tragic things just happen. You know what? I'm going to just throw a bomb. Oh my god, the bomb missed. That's hilarious. Courage! Take to the one! Careful! He's killed some tough fighter! Including all your mates. Okay, to be fair, maybe there aren't any bad Pandaren. I was thinking of, like, Pandaren bosses in the game, but they tend to all be Shar infested, so... That'll be why. I should have lubed my sword up with something. I realised that halfway through the fight, I deeply regretted it. Because I like using consumables, but I was just too surprised. But the next time I face something, there will be lube. Nice area though, very dense. Okay, what is that creepy looking thing over there? It's quite monstrous. I am oh, a drown. Drowners actually look quite a lot creepier in this game. Do they not? Well, they did in the first one. Nope. I upgraded the wrong fucking sword. Oh! It's a fight the kid when he's as well. Eat shit and die! Yeah. Uh, sorry, which I thought you had to uh, your sword and in. Die! You don't need to do this. It's in your best interest to not. I'm just too good at this game for you. I'll make mince meat of your arse! What will you do with the rest of me? Of your arse! You've got like one hit left in you. And you wasted it. Ah! Survived for longer than I thought. Thought I'd just finish you off nice and simple, like. Beautiful. Lots of loot, lots of murder. It's everything I could ever want. Better coin up. Oh, another Kedwenny soldier, I see. I would um, pop a hangman's venom, but I'm punishing myself. Because I looped up the incorrect sword with Necrovage oil. I have to live with it until its duration runs. That's what I decided. How do I uh, lock onto people again? There we go. Will that help me? Alright, so I should lock on before I bomb.
got no loot, then you're not worth anything to me. Mm, necker eyes, necker hearts, everything I could ever want. Dying or not. Oh, locking on makes it way easier to backstab. Nice. Oh, God. Oh. Holy shit, that's a lot. Uh, let's put a brown oil on my silver sword, why not? Oh, they're all gone. But there were so many. Or maybe there was just the two. Maybe I was mistaking the shrubbery around here for loads more. I wonder where they left, though. They must have smelled the necrophage oil. I thought, I'm having no part of that. Go to the catacombs in the forest. There we go. That looks like catacombs to me. Two minutes of rook left, but I can deal with that. At least these catacombs are nowhere near as dark as that mine. For now. How many more can there be? At least the rates in Witcher 2 are actually uh, not nearly as hard to deal with as the rates in Witcher 1. Like with the rates in Witcher 1, I felt there was a lot of unavoidable damage I had to take. Because with these, pretty much dodge everything they do. Oh, here comes another, though. So this proves me. I love going in for a slash and then just immediately rolling out. It feels so cheeky. Now, please don't attack me again. I would like to loot. Oh god, what's this then? Oh, just... Made a really big deal of unwrapping it. Probably means that there can be something horrible in them. Ooh, a bit of silver ore. Don't mind for do. Right, I've run out of rook, so I'll drink some more when I can. No idea why you have to meditate to drink potions now. That wasn't the case in Witcher 1, was it? At the very least, you can meditate anywhere instead of at a fire pit. You'd have to hoard millions upon millions of flint. I see what's going on here. But I also see scary wraiths, so I'll deal with those first. Shit, you stink. Really? I wouldn't have expected that of a wraith. Whoops. Oh, 
bother and befuddle. Nope, you can drink whenever. Yeah, I was pretty sure that was the case. I wish that was still the case. I would rather, like, all this stuff just be as quick, simple, and unobtrusive as possible. Perhaps the sort of extra hassle is why some people just don't bother with potions at all in this game. Probably not as necessary in this game either, because unlike in The Witcher 1, I'm pretty sure there's little to no unavoidable damage in this. So it's not like you uh, need potion boosts to get through fights. You just need patience and finesse. But since I have neither, I am gonna chug potions and oil swords and chuck bombs with gleeful abandon. Before I did go down there, I'm just going to make sure there's nothing interesting up here. I think this all just loops back around to the same way, although now I've said that, I can see another Ard Wall, so... What's in here, then? Uncover corpse, don't mind if I do! Iron ore. Worth it. That's what's going to happen. And I was like, oh my god, why didn't I quen up before doing this? Right, I am now out of oil. Which means I may pop a bit more necrophage oil made. I think if I was to keep like a stock of necrophage oil and hangman's venom, those could be like my two oils. I can't think of a situation where I don't need anything other than those. It's pretty much everything in this game is either a human or a necrophage. I mean, I guess Damn you know, Endriga, but that's about it. Insectoid. Just... Oh, this one looks kind of fresh. Fresher than all the rest. Any significance to that? I mean, the others all look burnt and crispy. Yeah. Guess it just looks that way because it does. Now, can I actually make necrophage oil? I can. Let's uh, whip up ten of them. There we go, about time. How dare you? How dare you go in with the uh, clever swoop there? Oh, he's good. He's the best raid I've ever fought. Haha, <laughs> but you cannot withstand my jab. Okay. Pardon me. Oof. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. Jesus. Come on, Geralt. What was that? Ah, Zeracanian stun does. Uh, <laughs> Zeracanian sun does not stun rays. Just on. notice that. Which makes them useless to me. So we shall swap over to grape shot. Got some now. Only six. Yeah. I have them in a pinch, but I kind of want—I kind of not want to run out of them just in case I suddenly need them for a quest. 
try and make more grape shots soon. No loot. But now that I think of it, that's probably how I'll like pass out my uses of bombs. I'll use Zeracanian, um, <laughs> Zeracanian stun, as I'm now going to call it, or grape shot on anything that can't be stunned. I feel like that's a good way to decide when to use what. Nice and fair. There's a logic to it. Hey, Circle of Endurance. Oh. No, I think of it. No, I can't tell if this is a sturdy wall or not. No, it's definitely not. I can see past it. But because of my gosh darn Quen. Alright. Shouldn't Quen up when I have, like, No uh, vigor. Just leads to problems like that. Who are you, and what do you seek? Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy. Handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner. The best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. You may not remember me. But I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Fergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. The Talus leading to Meria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? You got it wrong, it was, I don't recall. Die! We'll continue this later. You're mistaken. The Redanian regiments were on the left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Perhaps you speak the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander oh, of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? I don't remember any of these names. Marcus Brabant. You lie. <laughs> you are not of the Dun Banner, and you must die. Guess they'll never learn. Cannot blame me for trying, though, eh? Mr. Ghost. This one's got some health on him, for sure. <laughs> Luckily, he does not seem to be a challenge. <laughs> Might have him pinned against the wall here. Minimal damage, am I like using the wrong sword or something? Well, that were not a challenge. Da, da, da. Let's do our duty of unwrapping everything in the vain hope of loot. Basic Wraith actually did better. A 
than the boss. By much. Essence. Oh, there's a lot of things to, for me to unwrap. I feel like a kid at Christmas. But a terrible, gruesome Christmas. <laughs> All this for one orange? All this for a loaf of you bread? Stink. Girl, you don't have to be as rude as you are. I thought I killed it. Another rook, please. I just thought that soulmates. Just thought what, sorry. I've uh, already forgotten what I might have said. I'm bad. Horrible, gruesome Christmas, maybe? Oh, can't wait to see. I'm like in suspense now. You will justify... Oh, no. Come on, Geralt, please. <laughs> All this for a loaf of bread. Awesome! That is very much a fun thought to have shared with ye. Right, now we're basically done. Oh, no, wait. There's more. Of course, it is vitally important I unwrap all of these. Who knows, maybe one will have a legendary sword in it. Or the Doom Hammer. Essence of Death. I think I actually need some of that to craft my armor, so this was worth it. See? Obsessive looting is always worth it. Alright, let me just get my bearings on the map. Yeah, this place looks more... Uh, this place looks more or less explored. Where's my buff? Geralt? Geralt! I'm so pissed off right now. I feel like I've been cheated and lied to. Alright. Knew it! Oh. Alright then. No, there's definitely something there. Oh, why do I have to be quenned? Worth. Serious now. <laughs> Whee! 
Yeah, how though? How do I stop the minimap rotating? Like, I have not seen... Do you mean like the settings before I boot up the game? God, I've got a sudden craving for Kellogg's Crunchy Nut. That could be because I'm starving to death. Luckily, food delivery comes tonight. Uh, Geralt, you might want to move. It sounded like a... <laughs> Options, display... Well, there's no display here, so... Guess that is for the next time I boot up the game, then. Quite a lot of essences of death. Good, 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 good. Damn it. What? Some fate. Could always use a bit of that. Huh. Lures. Oh yeah, lures for traps, I remember that. Never gonna bother with that, sorry. How dare you! Their corpse still sort of showing up. The wolf sight. Alright, I think I've more or less looted this place to depletion. Which means we can move on with our lives. So, what else should I do? Journal. Uh, hatred symbolized. Anything else here? Wait for events. The Assassins of Kings. Search his trails, but there's no orange thingy. A score to settle. I think there's going to be wait for events. Wait for events. Matter of life and death. Oh, get all the ingredients. Sorry, just looking for a new uh, quest here. The Eternal Battle. Mm. Where's just Mergold? There we go, some orange. Let's go find our little Missy Trissy. Harpies! Ooh, orange little bastards! Where'd you go? Come on, are you afraid of me? Are you afraid? Come, Come back, I want to loot you.
delicious. Oi. Coward. These guys cheat. Back. Seriously? Sound like seagulls, kill them all. Well, I'm happy to say that I've done it. I slaughtered them and I had a good time doing it. Let's pop a save. There we go. I knew there'd be more. I knew there was too much death and destruction for the loot there. I don't know if we can cross this river, Geralt. Might be too much for us. It is. We've got to find a way around. Let's go to this high ground. At least then, if nothing else, we'll be able to beat Anakin Skywalker. Check the old map -a -roo. Oh, Tris Merigold is far, far, far away. But that's okay. I do not mind having a little explore. I do not. What's my uh, carry weight looking like? Quite bad, actually. I've been um, using my storage to dump all my supplies, and it's still climbing back up there. Hopefully that just means I'll have a hell of a lot of stuff ready for when I want to craft my gear. For when I can craft my gear, that is. Right, I can tell this place is a dead end, but I just want to see if there's any delicious loot, and there is not. another save before I get too lost. Let's have another look at this map again and try and be clever about it. So if we go back down that way, we end up... Hmm, there's no way to get there that I can see. Oh! I'm pretty sure I'm just going back to town, aren't I? I'm pretty sure that's in the town, all of what's going on there. Alright then. Let's figure out our way back home. Oh yeah, we had to talk to Philippa about Triss. That makes sense. There we go, we did it. We're back home. Surprised that the sort of entrance slash exit to the outside world is so uh, ramshackle. my sword away or the dwarfs will tell me off again. We don't want that. We don't need that. We've not requested that. Ah, greetings. Ah, greetings to you too. Fucking spoon. Hey, the lovely, lovely music's back. 
Is that a... That's a cat. Hello, cat. Only Philippa Isleheart may enter. Kinda wanna talk to Philippa Isleheart though. She better be up here. Yeah, this looks good. This, this looks right. All right, Philippa, I, I'm I'm down. Philippa, uh, Philippa, I'm gonna loot all your stuff. Is that a regular mirror or a magic mirror? <gasps> no, we cannot get to it. It will forever taunt us. You wanted to discuss something? I'm looking for Triss. Well, we'll talk about all this stuff, actually. You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Any ideas where I might start looking? Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. What? Yeah, Luckily, they do. this Rowan area branches. has a long history. There's the Battle of Wraiths, the site of Sabrina Glevesig's death and suffering, the abandoned mines. I was hoping you'd be specific. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod, but please try to be a little inventive. Ask the locals, that's always a good place to start. I dare say Alderman Burden knows every last stone in the area. Maybe you should see him. Okay, but don't think we're... Don't, don't go back to bed. Don't go back to bed, I've got so many more quests to kickstart with you. You wanted to discuss something? I've found an immortel. Excellent. That's not the end of it, though. So I don't know why you're even thinking of crawling back into your snooze pit. You wanted to discuss something? I'm looking for Triss. Letho forced her to teleport near Vergen. Letho? Foltest's killer. Perhaps Demavend's too. Will you help me find her? Certainly. We sorceresses must stick together. We have too many enemies. Triss contacted you through Sheila de Tanzerville's megascope while in Flotsam. And I haven't heard from her since. Can you locate her? A megascope responds to a person's aura. If I had something of hers, I could find her. You were close to her. Maybe you have something. No, I don't have anything. Not good. Wait. A local drunkard claims he saw a redhead fall out of the sky. This could be a lead. Yeah, you'd think that sort of incredibly unusual thing that people normally don't say could have something to do with our mate Triss. I never heard of flying women before. Perhaps they're just drunken delusions. It's possible, however, that an unstable teleport ejected Triss near the town. As it's our only lead, I'll talk to this drunkard. Do you know him? I'm not used to associating with drunkards, but you'll likely find him in the inn. Thank you. Come back as soon as you learn anything. Right, let's go get our mate Triss, because um, I think this is the quest in which you get an ingredient that I'll need for my armor set, so I kind of want to do it as soon as possible. Just so I know that I've got ingredient. Just so that I know I have that ingredient tucked, safe and sound, ready for use when I get the schematics. Or the recipes, or whatever you want to call it. Can I sell some stuff to you, by the way? Probably got some junk worth selling by now. Do you still uh, sell useless, boring shit yourself? Just like you do! No, I didn't want to stop. There we go, this can um, shift a bit of weight. Dwarven axe, hammer, messer, sword, fate, hammer, hatchet. Didn't even look to see if fate was any good. It's probably like the best sword in the game. Let's have a look. 
It's actually decent. But not so much that I'm horrified having sold it. So let's have a look at what I've got. Brown oil. Oh, enhancement. Falcon's blood. Yeah, I think Falcus blood will be like the generic. I'll go for like the things I craft and try and stock up on. I'll have Hangman's Venom for humans, Necrophage for Necrophages, and Falcus Blood for everything else. That should stop me from getting too bunged up. So I'll get rid of these wet stones, actually. I have no particular desire to use it. <sighs> oh, and Spectre Oil. Oh, so is uh, Spectre and Necrophages different things, then? Oopsie doopsie, so all that Necrophage Oil I was using against those wraiths was useless. Yeah. Oops. Oh well. These lessons, I learned them over time. Might as well use those at some point. Thank you, Mysterious Merchant. You've been a big help. So I'll add Spectre Oil to the list of things I'll make. In fact, can I make some right now? I want to see if I've got the schematic for that. Nope, I do not. So I should keep an eye out for Spectre Oil. Let so, me yeah. tell and then that'll be four oils that I keep on me at all times. Another one. You let one team in, in and in no time you've got a swarm. I was very odd. I heard you, I heard you oh, saw Oh, this is the guy who I've been talking about, yes, I've been hearing the entire time. Amazing. I look into the sky. But wait, you must buy a fellow a drink for such a story. Well, you shut it already. We could all recite this bullshit now. I'm a client and I'll say what I want. Pour me some Mahakaman meat and no cheating. This noble wayfarer will pay. Yeah, why not? Let's give him the good stuff. I'll pay, but if you bore me, I'll shove this meat up your ass. You're such a fine liquor, and my ass has no taste. <laughs> you won't regret it. Speak. Last week I was passing by the gullies. I like to take a hike from time to time. Get to the point. Hush. So I'm walking and suddenly there's a flash, a crack. I'm thinking, a storm's coming. But nearly a cloud in the sky. You hit the ground with your arse so hard you saw a flash. You were that drunk. Then I saw people lying in a gully as if they'd fallen from the sky. A man and a woman. The woman was so beautiful, I wished she'd fallen down on me. Alright, so dwarves like human women then. They don't just only like dwarf women. That's kind of... weird, really. Not even the same species, mate. What did the woman look like? A redhead. Wearing a vest and high shoes with pert tits and a round arse. Just waiting to be grabbed and... <laughs> Sounds just like your old lady. Shut your mouth! What happened then? Well, the woman was hurting. Couldn't get up. The man clearly disliked her because he didn't help her. He just stood there, menacing. Talking. He's just standing and there, and the red menacingly. Head. Noticed up tits, but didn't even try to help her, you sod. I was about to do exactly that when a troll came out of the gully. Ugly as shit after blueberries. Did it attack her? Not at all. I hid and saw everything. First he sniffed her, so I thought he'd eat her. But he didn't. Spelling mistake. He threw her over his shoulder like a sack and returned to the gullies. Is that all? Yes. Didn't waste your money, as you'll agree. We've got to go save Triss from a troll, though she could probably, you know, destroy the troll if she wanted to. Knowing her, she's like the friend of the troll. Also, oh my god, these notices, I've missed out on all of them. Let's do it. Harpy contract. Hear ye, hear ye, good folk of Vergen and all visitors. Since so many intrepid swords and champions of so many causes have gathered in Vergen, perhaps one would perform a public service by going to the Harpy Lair and exterminating the creatures once and for all. I promise a hefty reward and eternal glory as a monster slayer. Attention! 
Attention! The mines near Virgen have been overrun by beasts and will be closed until further notice. To ensure the population's safety, townsfolk are not only forbidden from entering the mines, but also from approaching them. My decision is final and binding for all, even those individuals who might beg to differ. You know who I mean. If anyone takes exception to this decision, please see me during working hours. I think I've already done that one. It is hereby announced that the search for Baltimore, our beloved runesmith, has been concluded. The distinguished Thorak, whose craft we all know and value, is hereby appointed Baltimore's successor. However, anyone who manages to ascertain the cause of Baltimore's death or establish his whereabouts, should the venerable smith prove to be alive after all, must inform me immediately of the discovery. All who provide news supported by evidence shall be duly rewarded. I seek a specialist experience in conducting criminal inquiries to help solve a series of mysterious murders of young males, both elven and human. A generous reward awaits the individual who ascertains the identity of the perpetrator or perpetrators and meets out just punishment. For additional information, find me by the cauldron. Attention! Attention! I hereby place a bounty on the Harpy Queen, or as some call her, the Mother Harpy. Be warned that the beastie is no nestling. Many would-be killer has shattered his teeth on her, so the fight will be difficult. The brave soul that rids us of this winged bitch will not regret it. Oh yes. Learn more about harpies. Well, I've already looked at, like every um, merchant here, like all two of them. And none, of th none of them seem to have any books worth a damn. I'll go and have one more look at that human merchant, just in case. I think that's the way we've got to go anyway. Hey there, human merchant. That looks like you've got sod all. Yep, alright, so I've got to learn, about, uh, learn more about Harpy some other way. Probably by killing a shitload of them. That's how I learned. Let's go drink, Harpies. friends. I'm gonna get as drunk as a lord. Why is that? They stole it. The plowing bird stole it. My dream is gone. Alright, I'm and curious what's the grin for? Night after night, I dreamed of my dead wife for years. Let's go for some liquor. Drinks on me. Well, that didn't sound good. I thought it was going on there. Book Harpies Dodge the Gale, which can be obtained from Felicia Corey at the market after the gates are opened. I don't know what the gates are, but I'm going to assume they've not been opened. Greetings, Batgirl. I'm glad to see you again. Again. Plotsam? The fire? Funny how these things work. I'll never forget that. Oh, unimportant. Needless to say, I'm deeply indebted. Hmm. Sorry. No need to be. But I feel I should pay you back somehow. I've started a new here, you know. That always builds confidence. Sure I can't tempt you with something. So, um... If these thing, if this book is obtained after gates are opened, whatever that may be, then I'm just going to not bother with contracts until such time as I can find a good bookseller. That's the best way to do it. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? It is if you want it to be. We elves Wait, might seem strange by your standards. You say Wait, Lisa, life. what are you doing? A bit of joy as recompense is not too much to ask. <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Hmm, you did tell me to sleep with everyone at every opportunity because it's the way to beat the game, so... I'm intrigued. It's been a tough day. I think some joy might do me good. What's gonna happen here, then? Also, is this really appropriate when we're on our way to go save Triss from, like, a troll? She's not gonna be best pleased with this little diversion. <sighs> Beds have springs back then. I was always under the impression they were just like bales of hay on wood. Are you really like stroking his torso? That thing looks gross. I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Wow, we got dressed again quickly. Like. Well, now that we've done that, let's see if she's got any stuff to take. 
Doesn't look like it, actually. It's kind of tragic. Ah, I was going to say, and now she's gone forever, but now she's still here. Am I ever glad to have that debt off my mind? I'm happy for you. Well, I'm happy for us both. Oh, have I have that. a memento for you. Take this. It's the best item okay. in the game. Mm. To an old mine pit. I've no use for it. But you're quite the... All right. Thanks. Wow, you were right. I slept with her and I got a key. It's probably going to come in really useful later. Note to all who want to play the Witcher series. Fuck everyone. I can't sell books either. Tragic. Oh, is this the... Is this... Is it literally a key for this thing right next to us? I suppose I'll have a bit of an explore. Though I don't know what I might find. So I'll pop a save, just in case this is the worst decision we've ever made. Sex is always the answer. True, very true. So let's drink a potion. I'll drink to that! Drink a bit of rook. Itchy. Also want to get the recipe for Thunderbolt as soon as I can so I can start pairing that together. God damn it, come on. With Rook and Thunderbolt and a decent pair of armor, I'll be- oh my god. Unstoppable. So we got all that way. And now we need a second key. What about second key? Oh well. This is still something out here. Hmm. Give it. Whatever that was, I want it. Sandy. Oh, we're here. Did we literally need to sleep? We needed to sleep with that elf in order to go save Triss. Now she can't be mad. Who oh, there? A witcher. Bumpkin's wishes sent to me kill. So be. Kill. Quick. No pain. First tell me. Where's the woman you kidnapped? Kidnap none! Aye, troll! A dwarf saw you carrying a human woman. Me stupid. Sick she, me carry. Her help, feed, pet. But she run go. Mrs. First run go. Redhead then. All gone. Soup only stay. What's in the pot? Soup. Elf and onion. Good. One try? I don't really care for onions. And I've already Stupid eaten one elf today. Good <laughs> taste with onions. Tomato like. Where did you get the elves? Mrs. Bring from Garley's. Like I bring redhead. The redhead's in the soup, too? No. Redhead, run, go! Mrs. Run, go! All gone. Only soup stay. Tell me, troll, what happened here? Me in Gullies, Mrs. in Gullies. Bones found. Nice to know. And wham! Humus from Skyfall! You're a lying, troll. People don't fall from the sky. Troll, true tell! Flash, crack! Two humans drop where Dumble ship! Human man, big as troll! And woman. I go see! Was the man bald? Did he have a scar? Wish a man likes man. See, I from far. Bald, yes. Scar, no see. Run he go to Gullies. Leave redhead Humi. Down. See I go. Redhead grown. Her pain. Closer I creep. 
Run, Shinotko. Let her grow. Take me, Humi woman. Go home. Missus angry. Go Humi wench thin bones. Hungry, missus. Yap and yap. Then run, go own for food. Give water, redhead Humi. Leaves cover leg. Humi redhead nies. Pet she when sleeps. Redhead have kerchief. Nice to sniff. Missus come back. Elves in hand. Drop, thin wench. Eat it, she call. Missus yap. Rag give. Troll say not. Nice to feel. Stench troll like. Missus say she or me. Troll think. Nice redhead, nice rag stench. Troll, Mrs. Tell, Mrs. Troll with log beat and run go. Even left elves. What happened to the redhead? Redhead, wrong pain. Redhead stay, pain gone. Redhead run go at night. Troll sleep. Wind howl empty. Do you still have the redhead's bandana? No, missus take away. Old bug leave elf's frag steal and run go. Where did she go, your wife? Gullies, missus gullies like. Gullies me like. Why don't I look for her? Wish a missus no kill. Good old bug, little batty. I won't hurt your woman. Mrs. Tell come back. Below, be terrible. Wind howl empty. Fine, I'll tell your mate to come back, but I need the redhead's bandana. Mrs. have, Mrs. good, she up give, as soon as she back. First, we've got to solve a troll's drinking problem. Now we've got to solve a troll marriage. This game is just like helping trolls simulator. Next, we'll help a troll get through college. Help a troll stand up to bullies. Sounds pretty good, actually. I want to play this game. So we should go this way, up here. There are we go, now we're on the right track. Ha peace! This could be the end of all of us. No! I'm just gonna like use up all these oils that I don't really want to have loads of just to get them out of the way. Make my inventory look cleaner. Don't know why I suddenly went all cockney, that was completely by accident. Oh my god, I don't have a quen up. What kind of brash fool am I? Ooh, I like this bit. Oh, they've changed it now. Shame. There's more harpies down there. Ah, oh, it's come too close. I can no longer loot. You're getting in the way of my loot. Pretty good stuff. Apparently it can be a decent way to farm money if you want to in this game, is to um, 
Sadly, it's only on the roach side, so I'll bear it in mind for my next playthrough. There's a big sort of harpy place where you're supposed to destroy the nests. But if you don't destroy the nests, then they just like respawn loads and loads and loads and kill them really quickly and just get loads and loads of mats from them. And just sell them to a merchant. But it's not quite as effective on the Yorveth route, sadly. Which is why I'm sticking to me boxing. There's more. Oh, this one's got a name. Don't know how I feel about that. I feel fine about it. Come on! Wow. Harpy traps. Oh, I said I'd never use traps. Guess that means I uh, killed enough harpies to um, learn about them, which I've noticed is a thing you can do in this game. You don't have to wait till you get books. I'm not going to do it right now, because, you know, focus on one thing at a time, please, but... I don't know. Can I make harpy traps right now? I'll need um, a craftsman to help me. Oh, I'm right here. Oh, that don't sound good, does it? We better save. She's wounded. Let her bleed. Better lunge at her all at once. She's weakened. Not worth the risk. What are you doing here? We're mercenaries. Currently on King Hansel's pay. We were sent here on reconnaissance. Barely escaped with our lives from that mist of spectres. Now we're up against a furious she-troll. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. The White Wolf. We could use professional help, would you? Will you help us? Nah, I've got like an arrangement with another troll to not kill this one. And so far I've been pretty good to trolls. I can't let you kill her. Since when does a monster slayer take their side? None of your business. I need her and you need to leave. She killed two of my men. Walk away and nobody else will get hurt. It won't help? Fine. Just don't disturb us. We'll manage ourselves. The troll needs to live. The troll will die. Then you'll have to kill me, too. In that case... Oh my god. Dear Witcher. This never needed to happen. Right. Oi! Don't you be chucking bombs, mate. That's my thing. Right, you're pissing me off. Can I lock on, please? Alright, first of all, this, uh, this is a clear hanged man's venom situation. Oh my god, the Zarakanian sun, um, stun does not stun. Back to great shot it is. Why is it not stunning them, I wonder? Oh, oh, I quenched it just the right time there. Ah! 
I'm basically just... Enough! We surrender! Throw down your arms, men! Spare us! Witcher! The king will pay our ransom. I'm just an I'm unrepentant not for a ransom. Now. Leave the troll alone and go your way. You'll let us go? You can't return through the mist. It's certain death. They're soldiers of fortune. We're not afraid of death. Clearly Neither are. do we foolishly seek it. The Witcher's right. Commander, we were to find a Witcher. A bald one with a snake medallion. This one's white-haired with a wolf on his neck. You're looking for Letho. You know him? You could say that. I'm looking for him too. What do you know about him? Sheila de Tanzerville told us to search the ravines for this Letho. All we found was a camp strewn with dead Scoia'tael. This Letho was responsible for the bloodbath. And he did not act alone. Where was this? On the other side of the Wraith's Mist. What were you to do with him? Kill him. And anyone with him. Anyone? Are you sure? That was the order. Do you know where Letho is? Somewhere on the other side of this mist. We found a trail, but then the mist descended. We got lost, and emerged from it here. I advise you to surrender to the rebels. That would be new to me. I am Adam Pangrat, known as a dieu. You won't survive for long out here. They'll hang us. They know Ensult hired us. Go to Cecil Burden. He'll treat you fairly. But don't count on him outbidding Henselt. Hear that, boys? Let's meet the Dragon Slayer. The Witcher claims we'll be safe and sound. Gather the wounded. Stop buggering and move out. I don't seem to mind that I definitely Humi's killed trolls, one of see? To kill Humi's itchy would kill trolls, sure. You other. Good, you help. Troll, you help. If you want to help me, go back to your old man. No! Idjit, hew me, redhead grope. He's alone now. He misses you. Tell him! Too late! Know anything about the woman who is in your lair? Troll, no! Hew me, ugly. Hew me, it stinks. Return to your husband if you want to repay me. Troll don't want, but troll will. For you other, you good. Mrs. Back, good, troll like. Me back for Wisha asked. That's what I'm going to say the next time you come Wisha home. Wisha not ask. Mrs. Wise. Idiot, you, hew me, woman, grope. No more, never again. Give me That's the bandana. Ship wheels just Here, going right through her. Stupid old buck. Troll, give horn. In danger, we shall blow. Take this horn. Troll, blow upon it. Thanks. I'll remember that. Now go to your mate. Maybe pick her some flowers first. Flowers? No! Flowers stench. Troll bring bird dung. Eject! What troll do we lair? Keep them unlocked, friend of trolls. I definitely am. Right, let's give that bandana to Philippa, and she can tell us all the things we need to know. And I can uh, look up harpy traps while I'm in town. Just in case. I've got the feeling, though, that we'll all have to wait until a little bit later. What's going on here? A sort of random. Nobody wants you here. All right then, I'll be off. You know, you just see a huge crowd of people. You assume that maybe some kind of event is going on. So you go say hi.
circle of strength. I like it. I swear I come in and, in and out of this town different ways every single time. Hey! There's two merchants here now. It's very exciting. So this one literally just sells junk. There's I'll three. I'll see it again. Humans are strange. You repair armor, right? Right. You work just for your elves, not just. You don't say much, do you? And they said you're grumpy. Let's trade. Let's see what you got, buddy. Diagram. Black Unicorn. Oh! Oathbreaker's armor! Oathbreaker's armor! We can start collecting the Oathbreaker's armor. So let's get the diagrams for it. I think I've got the orange for all these. For the uh, diagrams at the very least. I need more orange to actually craft them. But one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So we've got all the diagrams. We can start making them. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm excited. I can finally redeem myself from my terrible mistakes. Also, just to make sure you do not do anything about harpy traps, do you? No. Alright, well. In that case, thank you so much. Thought we had a basilisk. At your service. Turns out. So I wonder if I can make any of this stuff yet. That looks like um no ultimatum's still there. Hate him. Hate him. I just want him gone. So I'll get rid of the diagrams so they don't show up ever again. Uh, Oathbreakers. So yeah, I should have a lot of this stuff. There you go, that's what I need, the Draugir armor fragment. I should be able to get that when looking for Triss Mer Merigold. I apparently get some of that during Where is Triss Merigold? So that's why I'm keen to do that quest. And all this other stuff, leather, diamond dust, cloth. I should have, uh, I should have in my, um... oh yeah, I can make harpy traps. Oh my god, do they really need silver? Oh, I don't want to. Yes, I have to. No, wait. It's... No, it is. I need silver. That's just so it's real. Balls. Thought we had a basilisk in the basement. Turns out it was just my wife getting cold. Speaking of which, I should buy up this silver ore because I'm going to need a lot of it, and it respawns quite slowly, so I should buy it any opportunity. You were so Thanks for spotting that, though, sweetheart. The uh, bounty, the harpy trap. I got a serious career before. My pentacles intrigue you? Indeed. I'd like to see them up close. Let's start with introductions then. I'm Felicia Corey, and you're Geralt of Rivia. Why the surprised face? I heard about you in school. Whether you like it or not, you're a hero of contemporary history. And of the love stories we read beneath our blankets. You studied at Aratusa? Yes. Though I'm still to finish my portion and fetish internship, which is why I'm here. And you're doing it under Philippa Eilhart's watchful eye. Any way I can help you? Help from a hero of our readings? Now that's drawing on sources for real. I'd be grateful. The locals are reluctant to buy magic items, and I really need to pass. Let's see what I can do. Hey, hairstyle. So what have you got? Can you sell me Thunderbolt, perchance? Doesn't look like it, does it? What's Brock? Significantly increases chance of causing critical effects. Nice. Thunderbolt! Thank you very much. Very nice. Oh, surgical tools, quest item. Don't know what they are a quest item for, 
but I'll think about all that later. So, we've been recording for long enough now, so what I'm going to do is obviously I won't do anything story related while I'm gone. I'll sort of try and make sure I've got everything to craft my armour except the Draugr skin that I cannot get without doing the Triss Marigold quest. I'll have that all good and ready to go, I'll make sure I have the money to craft everything, and then tomorrow we'll do the Triss quest, hopefully get that armour all crafted up, have a really good time. Finally, things are really starting to feel under control, which probably means something horrible is going to happen tomorrow. But, uh, hey, you'll recognise this desktop background, it's from your favourite book by your favourite author. But now I'm going to go, so, ta-ta!